Are you interested in buying a short sale? I got five big tips coming up. What's up guys, this is Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, real estate investors, real estate brokers grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. If you're not familiar with what a short sale is, it's basically the sale of a property which the net proceeds of the sale fall short of what is actually owed on the property. Now it's up to the bank and to their discretion if they're gonna allow a short sale. Now let's jump into the five big tips that you're gonna to wanna to know if you're gonna be buying a short sale property. Number one and probably one of the biggest is there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee that you're gonna be entitled to buying that short sale property even with a fully executed contract between you and the seller. Unlike a traditional sale, the seller's lender does not have to allow and approve the short sale to happen. And in some cases, that property could end up in foreclosure depending on how far along the bank is with the foreclosure proceedings. Or in other cases, the seller might have temporary financial issues and might be able to get that mortgage whole and essentially cancel the short sale altogether. And in most cases, the seller does have an out if that were the case. Number two is you're gonna to wanna to know the status of the short sale. This is where if you are working with you know, your real estate agent, your real estate professional, they should be familiar with the short sale process, hopefully that they are, and they're gonna to wanna to know the, the status of the short sale. So that's contacting the listing agent, and hopefully the listing agent has some experience in dealing with short sales. So you're gonna to wanna to contact that listing agent and find out exactly where they're at with the short sale process. Uh, find out if they have uh, completed a short sale package for the bank and all that intel and information is ready to be submitted to the bank with an offer. Also find out where they're at with foreclosure proceedings. Has there been a Liz Penance filed? And, and ultimately, is there a final order for foreclosure? And if there is, does the seller uh, has the seller retained an attorney to basically delay that in order for the short sale to proceed? Number three is time frame. You gotta understand, short sales are not like a traditional sale. It could take four to six months. Sometimes it could happen sooner. Sometimes it could happen much later. I've had certain four, uh, short sale listings go as long as a year, even 16, 18 months. So if you're a real estate agent working with a buyer, you're gonna wanna make sure that that buyer is prepared to wait for the long term. Also, if you're a buyer, you're gonna really want to find out about opportunity costs. Yes, in most cases, you can get the short sale uh, slightly discounted, sometimes eight to 10%. You do wanna make the buyer aware that there is gonna be a four to six month period and there could be certain missed opportunities out there with other properties that come on market. Now, if this short sale is a property that is kind of rare and there's not a whole lot of properties that come to market in a certain neighborhood or whatever the case is, then yes, this might be the ideal scenario. Number four is escrow. So most listing agents as well as sellers of the short sale want to ensure that the buyer is serious and in most cases you're going to have to submit um, an escrow deposit along with the contract. My suggestion to you as a buyer is try to get away with as little money down as possible uh, to secure that property for escrow and then in the contract put maybe a second deposit after the short sale has been approved and you have it in writing that you guys are proceeding, more, uh, proceeding toward uh, a successful closing and then you go ahead and submit that second deposit. And number five, price. Just because you and the seller have agreed on a contract terms and a price doesn't mean that that short sale lender is actually gonna agree to that price. They're gonna go ahead and order what's called a BPO, broker's price opinion, to get an idea of value. Uh, sometimes they even order an appraisal. And if your offer is usually within eight to 10% of that valuation, many times, the short sale negotiator is going to approve that contract, approve that sale, but you're not guaranteed that. You might have a short sale negotiator that is instructed by the lender to strictly only look at offers that are based on that valuation from the BPO or appraisal. So again, you, you might come in with a contract of 400,000 and that BPO might come in at 450,000 and that short sale negotiator just flat out says, no, they're not gonna take that $400,000 $400, offer. So you may wait four, six, eight months 
to finally get a response from the lender and get the valuation only to find out that you're not going to proceed forward with the the purchase of it because it doesn't make sense at a certain price that uh, that the that the bank came back with. And as a listing agent for many many short sale properties, I can tell you there are some short sale negotiators out there that will stay firm on whatever that value comes out, and only to realize that they've lost one or two buyers. And then as the um, listing agent for the short sale, we have to go back to that short sale negotiator and just explain, look, nobody's buying this property. That is just one opinion of value that you got. Um, but we're going to keep losing buyers if we're going to stick at this at this specific price that you guys came up with. So if you are a real estate agent, you're interested in listing and selling short sale properties, I'm going to put a link down below for another video that I have on exactly how to go about it, uh, exactly what to do, how to find people who are upside down or who have defaulted on their mortgages and how you can help hundreds and hundreds of people avoid foreclosures. So check out that link below and we'll see you on the next video. I appreciate it.